In the book, Sanskrit is the grandson of a Holocaust survivor. And his grandfather, who's passed away, has a lot of influence on his life and on the family. Do you, do you think the children of survivors or people with survivors in their family have a, a, a different experience of the world than well, other children? When I was reading it, Ellen, I really questioned if you had survivors in your families, because there's all these studies that have been done that children of survivors have very similar characteristics, and grandchildren of survivors are then have characteristics that are similar in essence as well. Mm -hmm. And I think when there's a survivor in the family, it shapes their Judaism and it shapes their life. And for example, Sanskrit is feeling a lot of guilt because he's asking the question, you know, we we my family survived the Holocaust. How could I, you know, how could I turn my back on Judaism now? And it and it's preventing him from Moving forward. Moving forward, having maybe natural doubts and questions about the religion that, that, you know, anyone would have. It's tricky. You know, I'm not from survivor origins, but I understand that most people that are face a lot of questions, uh, not only about faith, but about their meaning and why they exist. And there's so many great books out there to read about Viktor Frankl, who talk about finding meaning after the Holocaust. And I hope that since you left me, not only will generate more discussion about the Holocaust, but that it'll enable people to find out more stories of the Holocaust and also to learn more about survivors. Because any book that can lead to that, I think, is very important. Thank you, Rabbi Sherry.